Okay guys, I'm pretty much picking up where I left off about a week ago. So one of the big things I gotta do is clean up. Cause you know, you get a little bit too messy on the job and the next thing you know, your head starts getting flooded with, holy cow, this job's messy, where do I go next? Stuff in the seat, stuff on the dashboard, tools laying all over the place. I got that laying there, I got this all over the place. So I think that's what I'm gonna do now. I'm gonna clean up and then I'll come back and finish installing this carpet right here. This shouldn't take too much. It's just a matter of a little bit of trimming because I cut this one more to size. It seems like it's a little big. I got to wrangle it around, tug it around. Going around the queen size bed. I don't want to have to trim too much, but I got to trim as much as it needs. So that's what I'm going to do. Well, we have here is one of these cases where it's such a small work area, it's hard to do anything. I can see it's got to go that way a little bit. and Maybe I'll climb up on here and reach over this way. Hopefully this thing doesn't get me like a mouse trap. Oh, I can tug it here. Oh, that's gonna need a little trim there. Gotta get pulled this way. Oh, that's better. Eh, we'll get her, we'll get her. It's funny, I don't think there is, it's, it's like the template I used, which was the old carpet. Doesn't seem to be perfect. I don't know. I don't know why, I don't know how. Here's another thing, here's a little, little tip. This carpeting. The back edge of this carpeting right here, that's pretty sharp. And on this old wood and the old finish, it scratches it. So I gotta be kinda careful not to scratch everything, all the crap when I'm doing this. But we're gonna work at it, and I'm gonna see if I can get it in. See, it looks like up here, if I follow this out, it's tight here, and then up there it gets loose. So I don't know if I goofed up on my cut. That's kinda what it looks like, like I went a little haywire with my cut. And then I gotta get it tugged up here so that covers. And for some reason this notch isn't anywhere as close to where it should be. But I'm gonna work at it. You know what? It's gonna wind up looking pretty decent once I'm done. These Lennox knives, they seem sharper when I put them in. And they stay sharp pretty good too. Maybe they're a harder steel, but you can just see how they get notched out. And this is from cutting carpet. I don't remember dragging this across anything that would really do that. But they, um, they get notchy. So, time to change blades again. Also, I think I'm going to wind up using these quite a bit. These are those scissors. I think they're pretty awesome. These are these um, Crescent Weiss scissors. I got them down at uh, my local hardware store, New Milford Hardware. Awesome store. So, before I go crazy trimming everything, I did trim it over here a little bit, and I got that looking better, mainly because I tugged everything that way, because I had like a bubble here that was telling me that it had to be pulled to this direction over here. So, and that made this one look better, except for now it looks a little wide. I don't know, I gotta just keep working it. I gotta keep looking, I keep looking for where it may be wrinkled up and try to determine which way to tug it to get rid of that wrinkle. And that's all this is, I'm just gonna keep going around it. And I'm gonna hold off on this cutting and scissoring until I know I have it in the right spot. So now I'm trimming along the wall here and I'm really trying not to cut into the wall. So I've kind of folded it back to myself and it kind of gave me a good idea of how far to cut. Now, as far as over here, I've done pretty good. So I'm gonna keep trying and keep going and just try to not cut short. That's the main thing. But I wanna cut it right the first time because if you don't get it right the first time, now you're just gonna spend a whole bunch more time monkeying around trying to get it right. So. I'm really trying to get it right the first time. So I'm kind of going down in there, almost as between the wall and the floor is 90 degrees, I'm coming in at like a 45. And I'm shoving it right down in as I pull the blade. In kind of a, kind of a sawing motion a little bit. Okay, so I've got that cut that far. Let's see how I did. If I pull that away, oh, I'm right, I'm right to it. I'm right to the wall that all hides, looks great. Just carpet, one wrong cut, and it's like, oh no. Well, sheet vinyl's even worse. <laughs> Let's see if I can get you over here so we can see this. I gotta work my way around this guy here. Yeah, it's gonna make it a little glitchy, but we'll see what we can do. I'm just gonna cut right up to it. Get rid of this. Yeah, it's a hair wide, but you know what? It all, it all bumps into the wall. So here, it looks to me like this is all just about right on this. Once I got to the other side of this, this is working out okay. It's a little long, but I think I can 
curl it down over behind the, the tack strip. So I think that looks pretty good, and I'm going to just work my way around. I kind of got this, this down on both sides pretty good. I got to stretch it so I can hook it, hook it onto the tackless strip because it's not wanting to hook yet. Well, that seems like it hooked. No, it didn't. So I got to give it a little, a little bit of a stretch so, so that it'll hook into the, into the tackless. I still have a little bit of a bubble here, and it's a little bunchy looking here. So it looks to me like the carpet's got to go in that direction still, which means in this direction I got to get it hooked onto the tackless strip. I'm going to go grab my stretcher. Just like painting a closet, it's easier to do a big room. This is, <laughs> I've been working on this, I probably got two hours in it, just trimming it out and getting it right and moving it around and kicking it back. And I can't get it to hook into the tag strip, so I'm stapling it down. I rolled and tucked this, this edge, and that came out pretty decent. Oh, it looks good. It looks as good as it did last time, so I'm happy with that. So I got one more trim to do, and then cut out for the register for the heat, heat duct. Put that in, and I'm done in here. Thank goodness. This has been a nightmare. Well, nah, it hasn't been that bad, but you know what I mean. So, I got to give that a trim. I got pretty good all the way around. Uh, it's not a horribly expensive carpet. I do like carpet in a bedroom. I don't like carpet in bathrooms or kitchens, which used to be a thing. I don't know why. But anyway, so I got this down and I, I used the vacuum. I sucked my way all the way back out and I sucked up the floor in here too because I had dirt from over the winter and dirt from the carpet and sucked out the, re the, the registers as much as I could. And I used that in an air compressor and blew them out and got as much of the dirt out as I could. But I'll tell you what, the stuff that's down in the ductwork in these old motorhomes probably give you nightmares. But sooner or later, I mean, it just is what it is. There's going to be dirt down there, dust, and, and spiders probably. Who knows? As I may have mentioned already, I kind of want these couches and stuff bolted down securely. And I have challenges in as far as that goes because I have to drill down through the carpet and through the plywood I'm going to use that as a as a pilot bit, a pilot drill, and I'll show you why. These are old school lag bolts, and I got these shorter ones for right here with the plates flat to the floor because I want full contact of tread in the plywood, and I think that'll hold, I mean, for a long, long time. The other ones were kind of weak because they were rusty, and once they get rusty and they wear around in the hole, it makes the hole sloppy and makes them weak, but I think these will last a long time. Um, and I got this set right now. I already drilled one of the holes in the back corner for one of them. I don't know if you could see it or not, but there's a plate back there with a hole in it. And I've drilled already drilled through it. So I got to do that one. And then I'm going to do these. And I think I have to use an extension to do those. But we'll see what that looks like when I get to it. I'll get back in here. Move this out of my way. No, I can't reach it because this is my way. <laughs> this is tough. Drilling through carpet's tricky. Pulls up all the fibers, can make a mess. If you're not careful, you can pull a string that'll make a run like eight feet through the carpet if you're not careful. So it's really a tricky little thing drilling through carpet. I'm not really sure I am being careful, but we're doing it. That did it. Got all the way down through the plywood. Now I lost my bit. I think I got it. Ugh, I got it. I almost lost my bit. What a pain. Now I have to get a bolt in there. Got my little teeny ratchet. Ugh. See if I can reach back here far enough. Ugh. Wow, this is a pain. Huh. I'm going to try something different. 3 8 drive adapter. Put that on there and see how that works. Ugh. Be a little bit less wrenching. There we go. Oh, it's running that big old lag right in there. Got it. Beautiful. Now I just got to do the other side. Okay, now I got to do this one right here. All right, how am I going to get on that? I got to pre-drill the hole. I think what's going to happen is it's going to wind up going in at a bit of an angle. I probably could use this as an extension. My slide screw, screw guide. Maybe I could use two of them, get steeper. I could even use this tool if I get in there instead of the right angle drill, but let's see what happens. 
So I've got two of these together. Yeah, that bumps me up here to where I'm really not helping me. Maybe I do want to use a right angle drill. Let's see, so we'll take this part off. Put this guy on. And when you're drilling through a carpet, boy, you gotta watch it because it could pull a string and you'll see it. It'll leave a mark all the way through. So you can see it wadding up. Maybe I'll go backwards a little bit. Try to get the carpet out of my way and then go forwards into the wood. Now you know the problem with, with this bit is does, this extension doesn't hold on to the bit for me. But I was able to pull it out anyway with a little tension. Okay, now, I've got that drilled kind of at an angle. Which, believe it or not, I think is a good thing. Because a bolt, say this bolt is down flat straight in something, it can pull straight out. But if it's an angle, it's got to pull out at an angle. And I think that's going to make it a lot stronger. Just like angle nailing. You know, when you angle nail something, it makes it stronger. So I'm going to use this, this contraption right here. This adapts between this and a regular 3 8 drive socket. See if I could just get that started in there and shove that screw in. This, these are the easy ones. The other ones are going to be tougher. Yep, it's taking it. Oh, nice. Tugged it down. Oh, yeah. I don't think they're going to pop out anytime soon. Now I got to do this other one. That one right there. Go find it. That's why you always buy extras. Always buy two more than you think you're going to need. All right, we last left our hero with the screw missing, and the second I closed, turned off the camcorder, it appeared. So, I'm back in the game. Now what i got to do, drill this one. And I'm going to run the drill backwards again, just to kind of get me some space in the carpet. Now I'm going to go forward. Got it. And like I said, this is a pretty cheap carpet. If it were a more quality carpet, I'd be running a much bigger risk of pulling a tread and having a problem. This is working out pretty decent. Oh yeah, that tugged it in tight. Okay, now I gotta do these ones under here, which are gonna be a much bigger pain in the neck. Cause they're up there, you see it? There's a hole. I gotta get them in there, there's four locations all around this and that's what I'm gonna do next. All right so I gotta figure out how to bolt this thing down. Here's what we've got to get into. You probably see it way back in there. Some light on it. See it from there. You see that angle bracket? Yeah that's where I gotta get to. Well I guess I'll take this track out and then put enough drill sections together so I can actually drill a hole and make it work. Okay, bolting down these couches. I got this one all bolted down. It's got the four screws that it's supposed to. This one has two going through the floor. And then I ran a couple screws into the cabinet, which admittedly doesn't grab into a whole lot, but it, it's, it's got the two in the floor, or the one in the floor in the back that's grabbing a little. And then I, I put that blocking in there and ran some screws through it into the cabinet. Hopefully that's going to stiffen it up pretty good. And then this one, I put all the stock screws back in all four locations. So, first I'm going to suck up the floor. And I'm going to put the drawer slides back. Well, guys, it took a little time, but I got all this carpet down. I think it looks pretty good. I painted the uh, floor registers black. I think that blends in a little better. I don't know, maybe not. <laughs> I'm, sh I'm sure I'll find out. Yeah, it just changes the whole look of the place. I got a piece of remnant there just to wipe my feet because my driveway is a little dirty. So I don't want to drag dirt in right off the bat. But all in all, I think the carpet's going to be nice up here. It's going to last me a while, I'm sure. I changed it on the front there. I still got to hang my um, air extinguisher there. Do a couple little finish up things. For the most part, I think it looks pretty good. Go back here in the bedroom and take a look. Yeah, it just brightens it up. Just freshened it up quite a bit. Yeah, I think I'm pretty happy the way it all came out. Looks good. Well, guys, thanks for watching my three-part series on the uh, installing a carpet in a Class A motorhome, specifically the 95 uh, American Eagle by Fleetwood. Um, getting to be a older motorhome now, but I think this one looks pretty fresh now. 
helped it quite a bit. Of course, I didn't change all. I didn't do a complete remodel or anything like that, but I think I'm happy. Plus, I think it matches my beard. That's important. All right, guys. Till the next one. Thanks.